Hello, I'm Vinny, an artist from the Hepworth Wakefield. Today we're making paper coil pots. You'll need any kind of paper. That could be newspaper, magazines, brown paper, old wrapping paper, or any paper you can find. Some kind of sticky tape, and a pair of scissors. To make your paper coils, loosely roll the paper from corner to corner diagonally. Then twist the paper all along its length. Do this again and again until you have lots of paper coils. Cut or tear lots of pieces of tape and stick them on the edge of your desk so they're easy to reach. To make the base of your pot, spiral the paper around like a snail shell. Keep your paper on the desk or table while you make your spiral. This will make the base really flat. When you get to the end of your first paper coil, tape the end to the rest of the paper. Tape your next coil of paper at the place where the last one ended and keep going until you're happy with the size of the base. When the base is a good size, bring the paper coil up off the desk on top of the base and carry on your spiral around the edge of the base. As well as taping the beginnings and ends of your paper coils, as you move up the pot, you'll need some more tape in between. To build up your shape, keep spiraling on top of the last coil. To make your pot go wider, put the coil down on the outside edge of the underneath coil. To make it go straight up, match the coil with the one underneath. And to go narrower, go on the inside edge of the underneath coil. If you find any gaps in your pot, you can just add some tape to join the coils together. Keep adding coils until you're happy with the shape of your pot. I've decided to give my pot some handles and a lid. You could experiment by making different shapes, trying out different paper or tape. You could even paper mache your pot and paint and decorate it. Have fun!